white paper, you ask? What are you talking about? The science of why we can end our period pain, including fibroids, without any special diet or special exercise or gut therapy or hormone therapy? Well, I wrote a white paper that tells you exactly that. And there's a link to it in our description. So please click the link, you'll get to join our email list and you get a special bundle, which includes the white paper that tells us why we don't have to sacrifice to heal and why we can treat the causes rather than the symptoms and end menstrual suffering. And it has a special companion piece that was inspired by my process of writing the white paper. So definitely click the link and join our email list. But why does this matter to fibroids and to black women in particular? Well, we have, I'm going to describe in the white paper that there is an HPA relay that lets each dot of stress, each tattoo of stress that we experience in our environment, it downloads it to our womb and the womb stores this downloaded stress, this distress as in, in the case of many black women as fibroids. And so it is actually the suffering, the intangible suffering that becomes tangible that s nurtures this, this pain, this really avoidable problem that manifests in our body as fibroids. And when you have a group of people who are continuously overlooked, continuously told that they are not enough, just like the quote describes, continuously questioned about their right to want the most. When you have that, the what resists persists, the more that we are pushed down the harder we fight which is not which is totally not surprising that 59 percent of black women want the most and all of the pushback that we suffer a lot of it has to do with pushback that we impose on ourselves because we are trying to win in a world that does not accommodate our physiological needs. So we try harder and fail more because we're trying and we're going after this very imp important goal, which is diverse leadership, which we know creates companies that survive things like pandemics and economic disaster. We know that when diverse leadership exists, businesses thrive. And yet when we go after it by ignoring our innate strengths, we end up overcompensating, trying harder, and thus encouraging more fibroids, more irregularity, more things that hold us back, more things that in our effort to hit the goal, keep us from meeting the goal. So instead of trying to get the executive position, get the leadership position by climbing up the ladder, that somebody else made. What if we double down on our being? Double down and start growing our power through leaning into our physiological givens. The way to do that, the way that enables us to show up at 100% because fibroids cause irregular cycles. Fibroids cause us to never seem to catch up in, in energy level. We, we, we work in fits and starts. We suffer from acute burnout. Later on in that same report, 43% of women at the same level as men 
suffer from burnout, 43% and 31% of men at the same level. They both suffer from burnout, but a lot more women are suffering because we're overcompensating and we're trying hard. And we have an added double whammy as black women because when we suffer because of, and this is kind of an epigenetics leaning conversation now, because of the inherited trauma, because of the inherited, not yet, you're not good enough, that our grandmothers, our great grandmothers, our mothers experienced and passed down to us, some of us are born with these wombs filled with fibroids. And so it is up to us to end the nurturing of the suffering. And it starts with recognizing our physiological need as a person born with a uterus, and that is in allowing ourselves to have the three-day restorative. Those three days that we take for home office, those three days that we dedicate to tasks that don't require interaction with other people, but that do require, you know, us showing up to our home office, that time in our temple, in isolation, in aloneness, where we even give our partner or other people in our home or other people in our community, we give them permission to nurture and take care of our kids if we have them so that we can really get that time for us so that we can restore when we give ourselves that simple thing, oh, the innovation that lands, that avails itself, that blooms within us from our wholeness. Oh, the time that we get to access because we're no longer relying on efforting. We're living an easeful impact. Oh, the consistency we experience when our fibroids diminish and our period starts to regulate and eventually moves to a consistent cycle. And when we're living in that physical consistency, we start to feel power in a different way. But because we were living and we've been curating in our journey to get to consistency, in our journey to get the resorption of the fibroids, because we're living in that way, we also have a lower tolerance for that which does not serve us. And so we better, for better, for better, for better thrive in our easeful impact, which is our birthright as people born with a uterus then that leadership position doesn't become something that we seek. It's something that we be, and it becomes very easy for that to be recognized. We don't have to raise our hand. Who we be is enough. It all starts with embracing and allowing your essential needs to be met giving yourself permission to take your body's expected three-day restorative. Wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace. <laughs>